in Quezon City. Admittedly, I belong to a different party at that time. And I did not campaign for our president, no? And it's common knowledge, but he won overwhelmingly in my city. And people always, they always criticize me. Why are you now supporting the president? And I say, because my peop the people in our city wanted change. They liked the message that he was importing. And therefore, as a leader of a city, um, and the people want this kind of change, maybe I have to listen to the people. You did mention that uh, you, you shifted allegiances, uh, and you did in 2017, you went to PDP Laban, but now you are with uh, Hugpong. Uh, yeah, Hugpong under Servicio Sa Bayan. I, I'm wondering how, uh, how difficult it is for you to, to reconcile your alliances, your political alliances before in 2016. You were very close to Lenny Robredo. I think you still are. Yeah, yeah, I was very close to him. Your father was a pillar of the Liberal Party. And now you have chosen to join uh, an organization uh, whose, whose, whose main pillars are, uh, well, not basically the party. <laughs> not very friendly yeah. uh, with the people that you, you've allied yourself with in the past. Uh, for example, um, of course, there's, the, there's a president uh, who always hits the Liberal Party. There's also Sal Duterte, who also hits the Liberal Party. And you have Aimee Marcos, um, who, of course, is, is, Marcos, is a Marcos. Yeah, I'm. You know, the, the thing that I think the thing about me is I'm not a political person, okay. And I think that's my strength, mm. because when I was with the Liberal Party, I just did my job, okay. My job was to help uh, the candidates of the Liberal Party, and I was assigned to work with Lenny Robredo, who I love, okay. I think she's very good, no, um, very sincere, and I actually uh, was part of her campaign called Women for Lenny, and I went all over the country to support her. And she won, and and that was good, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then we became friends, you know. And she herself, when we talked, she said, "Joy, you know, the Liberal Party is not very popular, but I know that your heart is for the people, and I know that you are a good governance advocate. So it doesn't really matter." Sabi na, uh, kung hindi ka member ng Liberal, kung mahakatulong sa uh, sa baka katulong sa iyo na ma-advance ma mo yung cost ng good governance sa lungsod na tinitirhan natin because she's also from Quezon City. Um, then it's okay. Sabi niya, okay lang. You can actually, she actually allowed me to. She actually gave her blessing mm. when I said, I think na gusto ko talaga kasing maglingkod eh. Mm. Eh baka hindi ako mabigyan ng pagkakataon maglingkod. Yeah. Diba? Because of all these biases against our party. Yeah, but but, but parties said, are about principles, basically. They're not yeah. about uh, friendships. Uh, so, so in the end, wouldn't you have a problem, for example, uh, endorsing or pushing candidates uh, who who in the past or well, in who in the present are actually um, uh, are not aligned with uh, the principles that you stood stood for before when you were the liberal party which are good governance mm -hmm. um, well you have to there are certain there, there are, I, be, I believe you're right there are principles but also you make certain decisions and politics is a gray it's a very gray profession that maybe people who are not in politics don't understand but it's mm -hmm. a very great position and sometimes you have to weigh what is important to you and for me important what is important to me is I'm able to carry out my dream and vision for this city mm -hmm. that is the most important thing for me and um, now what I decided to do is to form my own local party and then so i'm not i'm not in hong pong because hong pong is a regional party mm -hmm. and it's run by mayor sarah duterte mm -hmm. it, but you will be surprised to know that you know i am a great admirer of mayor sarah duterte when we got together i found a lot of characteristics in her that i also admired mm -hmm. in fact they're not very different from lenny robredo's characteristics she is a tough woman she has principles um sarah runs her city well she she um she I found a lot of things I like about her. She is may isang salita. Hmm. Alam mo yun? And I respect people na may isang salita eh. Hindi siya player, yung typical na politiko. So actually gusto ko siya. Hmm. So kaya parang para sa akin, I don't think we should be bogged down by your parties. Una yung mga parties natin, they don't mean anything here in this country. Why? Because we don't even have a mature political system. Mm. We are run by parties that are run by personalities, mm -hmm. not ideologies. Mm. And that's why, hopefully, our new constitution, if we do adopt it, will change this, will help us create parties run by ideologies. Pero as of now, hindi naman mature yung political system natin. Mm. Uh, and you have to admit that, no? So, um, at the end of the day, we say, I'm still Joy Belmonte. The Joy Belmonte that's stands for good governance that 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 that, that believes um, and and wants to alleviate poverty um, and promote inclusive growth and um, it doesn't really matter um, if I'm allied allied now with Sarah and or before with the Liberal Party